Hebrews 11. If you got a second man, if you look and say look. Hebrews 11 and 1. If you got to say amen, amen. if you look and say look at me. All right. Let's get started. I want to do a responsive reading. I'm going to read the first chapter, and you are going to read the second chapter, and so on and so forth, and we're going to go all the way to chapter 11. So Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the world, by the word of God, so that things which are seen were made of things which do not appear. Acknowledge God and see what He's doing. 
what God has to say about what's going on in your life. Amen. And we want to do that because we all know that this is not the end. This is the beginning. Okay? This is not the end. Faith. Faith is to step out on trust. So if you have faith, you step out on trust. You trust God enough to know that he is going to take care of you. And you have that faith and you'll step out. Amen? Fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So fear means that the evidence that you see are not real. They're false. They just appear real. And that's Satan's job to make you think that it's a certain way, but it's really not that way. That's why we have to lean on what the Word of God says so we don't have to worry about having fear in our life. Because fear tolerated is faith contaminated. All right. All right. Fear tolerated is faith contaminated. God did not give us a spirit of fear. Amen? For we have to think about it as Christians as when you have a baby, I, I think about um, Martel. Martel don't think about if he's going to eat. Do. He don't think about what he's going to wear. He don't think about how he's going to get to church. He don't think about no gas bill, no light bill, no nothing. But he knows that his mom, Victoria, is going to take care of him. So we have to have that same faith in knowing God, our Father, is going to take care of us. So we don't have to worry about what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear, what we're going to do, because God has already provided a way. He already know what tomorrow brings. We don't know, so it is our responsibility to trust. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in to New Beginnings Ministry, where the pastor is Pastor Reverend Curry, and I am First Lady Teresa Curry. We want to thank you for tuning in today. We used to have service now we've relocated to 8607 Madison Avenue. We want to invite you all out to come and celebrate and be in our worship services. That's 8607 Madison.